Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Hear me. When there is an attack in your life, there are three things that you will lose. Number one, the first thing that you will lose to tell you that the devil is attacking your life is your peace. The second thing that you will lose when the devil is attacking your life is the gift of men. If you lose money, it was not an attack. It can just be a business mistake. But when you lose men, I assure you, it's an attack. Hmm. Hallelujah. Look at this. Every point in the life of Jesus, men and angels came to attend to him. But when he was on his way to go to the cross, men ran away from him. Only one man out of the multitudes of people he had helped to build and raise and do all of this one walked with him and held the cross for him aside from john and his mother at the cross so when you begin to lose your peace number two when you begin to lose the gift of man it is an attack from the pit of hell hallelujah the third thing that you will know as a sign that is an attack is passion passion for the things of god passion for your destiny passion for actualizing your goals nothing matters again your fight the bible says the zeal of the lord will perform this there is something called the zeal of the lord when you lose your peace when you lose men when you lose passion know immediately that there is an attack i want to declare these three things over your life before we sit down number one the bible says now the lord of peace himself will give you peace always and by all means i want to prophesy that by all means dimension of peace that means whatever it takes for your peace in the name of jesus may god make it so in your life order of peace enjoy it in the name of Jesus number two there are some of you who have jobs but you do not have men some of you have intellect you don't have men some of you have churches but you do not have men men are very important men are in many cases a sign that God is with you I have taught you that the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is access to the hearts of men in the name of Jesus Christ I call to your life the ministry of men I call to your life the ministry of men enjoy the ministry of men enjoy divine connectors enjoy men of influence enjoy gifted men Enjoy burden bearers in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, before you sit, let me pray for your passion. Some of you, your dreams have died because you are no longer serious about it. Everything you said you would do this year, the zeal. Some of you, even for ministry, you may be men and women of God, but sincerely, that zeal again, the zeal to fast gone zeal for god gone zeal for your goals gone the resilience to push towards your destiny is gone right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i'm speaking as a prophetic word for someone let your zeal be restored let your zeal be restored your zeal for the house of god your zeal for the things of god your zeal for the pursuit of your destiny 
be restored in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth in one minute and receive. I declare that I receive in the name of Jesus. For those in front, I decree and declare the hand of God rests upon you. That which you have been delivered from will never return to you again. You walk in the liberty that is in Christ. Go and return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see, if you're a man of God here, please listen. It is very good to be excellent and organized, but it's also very important to be discerning. Because one moment, God, when God is sending people to come here, he's attentive to the need of everyone. Even though they may seem like there are thousands of people and tens of thousands others following by way of internet let me tell you when god deals with men he deals with men corporately but he deals with men individually are we together now for the sake of one person god can wake a man of god and say make sure you suspend five minutes of your sermon until you address that person's pain this is the God that we serve. So um, whether you are in this auditorium or all of the overflows to the basement or outside or following by way of internet, please do not allow the devil deceive you that you are so far, you are beyond sight. That means you don't know who God is. The Bible says Jesus left one side of the sea. The disciples almost lost their life and went to Gadara to meet only one man. Deliver that man, set him free, and return back. That's how far he can go for the sake of one person. Hallelujah. So when God brings words like this, among the many things that these words reveal is the depth of his love. He lets you see and he lets you know that for your sake, that when he's sending you to church, you may be seated inside or seated outside and you may be wondering i don't think i count among the tens of the thousands of people around but that's not the way god works he can send a word and make it look like you are the only one in that church and address your issue and address your issue there are times you can be thinking and say god in my simple faith if you are the one, talk to me about this. And the man of God can stop his sermon and address that issue. Because God wants to go that far to give you confidence that he is dependable. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Alright, so be seated. For one minute again we'll pray. Don't be tired of praying. Ask the Lord again to reveal his counsel to you. Go ahead. Pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Are you praying? Don't be tired. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.